On the far left you can see I have the Bryman BM869S in the center, the Bryman BM319S, and this is an automotive meter. And then on the far right I have the UEI pre-production meter. You can see we're outputting roughly a 30 hertz waveform and it's at about 6 volts, 6.3 volts. All right, so if we take the reciprocal of 30 hertz, that's 33.33 uh, milliseconds and then divide that by 2. That'll give us 16.666 milliseconds, which is what this meter is showing us. Now the UEI meter should be displaying 33.333 milliseconds for the period, but instead you can see it's displaying 3.33. If we select the frequency, you can see that is correct at 30 hertz. So let's increase the frequency. So we're at 100 hertz right now, which would give us 10 milliseconds. Divide by 2 would be 5 milliseconds, but you can see our UEI meter is displaying 1 millisecond. Again, you can see it does read the correct frequency. Let's just try changing the range. Does that have any effect? It does. So let's try now increasing the frequency even higher. So you can see we're at roughly 400 hertz, and the reciprocal of 400 is 2.5 milliseconds. And again, divide that by 2 will give us 1.25 milliseconds. And again, that's what the BM319S is showing. Again, there's our 2.5. Now, if we go into auto range, what's it do? See, now it's displaying correctly. Let's disconnect the meter. And reconnect it. So it comes up with the right number now. So it appears to be a problem at lower frequencies. I bet it's right when it auto ranges to 10. Right there. Sure enough. So it's right at the 100 hertz point. So this would be a fairly simple test for you to try on a production meter. Again, this is something that I showed, I think, on the third or fourth video that I made of the meter. Basically, when I was going through the repairs or something, I was functional testing it. And, of course, one of the things I do when I functional test it is apply an AC waveform. Somebody had pointed it out, and I didn't think much of it. I had uh, actually posted some comments about Again, it being a pre-production meter, so, you know, I was sure that they would have all this stuff fixed by the time the meter was released. But after posting some of the problems that I've seen with this pre-production meter, I'm not so sure how much of it was actually addressed.